Hey guys, Android Rooted Pro here, and today I wanted to share a quick application with you. Uh, you may or may not have heard of. It's called Pi Control, as you can see in the middle of my screen with the blue lettering. And I'm just going to open it up right here. And basically, as you can see, it displays a number of amount of icons that you can set and customize to display. You can have one layer, or on the top, you can have two layers. And it also displays the clock, as you can see right here. It displays the month, the date, and the percentage of your battery. And this application is highly customizable. It's just a great interface in general. You can have it set to where you can um, open it up by touching either side of the screen or by the bottom of the screen. Oops. And you can see still all the functions are available. And just open up the application and it works just fine. You can go over here, open up your Wi-Fi settings. I, it's just basically things that I've set to myself and you can do so much with the application it just looks great in general and it's just a great application for you to have of course this application does require root access but it's also free to download in the play store just a basic version the basic version does give you full control of the application so it's not necessary to buy the application but to support the developer i would recommend buying the application and i'm just going to go ahead and show you some of the tools and how to set this up if you don't know how to and we can just go ahead and get started so if we go ahead and open up the application you're going to see right off the bat, you're on the Pi settings. And what you're going to want to do is just set which side you want the Pi to display on. You can do the left, the right, the bottom. You can do all of them or you can just choose one. I'm right-handed and I just prefer using just the right only. So I'm just going to go ahead and click right. And then here's the Pi size. You can customize the, the size of the uh, actual Pi itself. I'm, I just have it on 25%. It seems reasonable. It's perfectly fine in my, um, my phone's size. And then activation area width. If you have a case and you can't go all the way to the far end of the screen, it's going to be a problem. So what you're going to want to do is change the width setting. So you can go ahead and make it wider. Just put it to your preferences. You don't want to make it too wide because it can interfere with you opening up other applications. For instance, if you make it um, too wide and you go ahead and click and save. And you try to open up other applications. For instance, um, my web browser, it will, in, uh, will activate the actual Pi application. And it's kind of hard. You just have to can't really click or do anything on it so that's why I would recommend not making it too wide and just making it just enough to where it would suffice for you to actually push and hold it so for right there for instance that's perfectly fine and then we're gonna go ahead and save it you can also do the height as well but there's no need to do that one go ahead and push save if you want the clock on as you saw earlier so I want the clock on and whenever I touch the application or the sides of the screen I do want it to vibrate so I'm gonna go ahead and put vibrate on and here's the colors and the normal is basically what the inside is going to look like. As you can see, it's black and faded. And if I just open it up, it displays exactly how it is. So you can change that if you want. Just go to normal, choose your settings, and you could change the alpha to lighter, to brighter. So we're going to go right there. I'll change it to blue, push OK. And then, as you can see, it changed it to a, a blue kind of faded. And then the focus is going to be the actual when you click on the icon changes color to green as you can see so you can go ahead and click your focus and change it to whatever color you want to we can go to yellow click OK and then as you can see change to yellow and then the outline of course is the outline of the actual blocks of pies so if you go to the outline and we change it to blue whatever you want to customize it to change the alpha as then you can see it's the same color as the blue that I picked earlier but just a little you can barely see the purple and then the clock, you can change the size of the clock. We can go and change it to, say, 50. And then you get a bigger clock. You change it back to 25, as I had it before. And we have a smaller clock. It just fits right. It looks good. And then here's where you could change all these icons on the first layer and the second layer. So we go to level 1. You can click on the short click. I don't really mess with the long clicks, but you can also um, access those. And you have your apps. You could use you can basically the first layer you can put anything on it the second layer anything on it it's highly customizable I just chose to put the first layer as my tools and my settings so you can go ahead and choose between your settings or your tools and then go to choose between your settings or just change anything to your applications for instance I could do one click clear and then as you can see there's my one click clear and then level two the same thing just customize it until you are satisfied with how you want it to look and which applications you want to be on the uh, application itself and that's basically it for the Pi control um, I would recommend this for every single rooted user it's just a great application it's just highly customizable and it just looks great in general 
Uh, sorry for my voice, guys. I am kind of sick. But if you guys did like this video and you haven't heard of the application, well, I hope you guys do enjoy this application and have fun with it. Um, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will continue to post as many videos as I can during the week. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.